BGB114 and 7 is a next generation BCL2 inhibitor, so next generation venenoclax. So how is it different from venenoclax? Firstly, the drug is highly potent. It's about 10 times more potent to, than venenoclax, and that increased potency may mean that the drug can inhibit the venenoclax resistant mutation, the, the, the G101V mutation, the BCL2. So the hope is that by having a, a high drug levels and deep inhibition, that you may stop or prevent or delay the emergence of resistant mutations. Um, the second thing about this drug is that it has a very short half-life. And a short half-life is important for BCL2 inhibitor because that permits a fast escalation of the, of, of the drug. So venenoclax has a very long half-life, so you can only ramp up once a week, in, uh, before the, otherwise the drug will not have reached steady state. Whereas this drug is a very short half-life, so it's theoretically possible, once we have done all the studies, to do daily dose escalation and get the dose escalation over and done with quickly. We are reporting the results of this drug in early phase one study across multiple histologies, and I'll give you a summary so far. So, so far we've dosed escalated up to 640 milligrams without any dose limiting toxicity or MTD reach. And 640 milligrams of this drug is approximately three to four grams of venenoclax. So we're now operating at about 10 times the clinical dose of venenoclax. Despite those high levels, we have not seen severe toxicities. In fact, the GI toxicities are very, very well tolerated, and the neutropenias are manageable and about the same rate as you would expect for standard dose venenoclax. So the safety is there. The drug is clearly active, so we've got responses across all the usual histologies that we see. We have combined the drug with xanabrutinib um, uh, in combination, and we have shown that the combination is safe and is effective. So it's really a very early report into what possibly could be the best in class BCL2 drug, and one that may improve upon the very good results of the Neoplex.